Today we are talking about some of my favourite things in the world and that is coats slash jackets. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that like I have a serious coat problem. I have so many. So whistling down my favourite springtime kind of, you know, transitional period coats was quite difficult because I have a lot to choose from. So I think we've got like 15 or 16 here. And I feel like these are the coats that you need in your wardrobe at the moment if you are, you know, on the hunt for a spring coat or jacket. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> I've pushed you guys back as far as I possibly can, and by you guys I mean the camera. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see enough of the outfits when I try them on. I've tried to, you know, keep a quite, I mean this isn't neutral, but you know what I mean. This is like a quite neutral monochrome outfit so that you'll be able to see the coats and this won't distract too much. So let's get in with the first one. We are kicking it off with literally one of my favourite things to wear in the springtime, which is a blazer. In particular, this faux leather one. I feel like faux leather is one of those kind of textures that makes things look really, really expensive. And because of the colour of this and like the design and the oversizedness of it, I think it literally matches every single outfit. So I absolutely love this jacket. Next up is this absolutely huge gilet. This is from Zara. And if you guys are watching, like if you're on TikTok and you watch any kind of fashion videos, I feel like you will recognise this. It's like the Zara item of the moment. I love this i did buy it kind of you know because i was just like oh i don't want it to sell out too quick so i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to be styling this up for the warmer period but at the moment i've been wearing it with like jumper dresses knee-high boots it looks really cute with like a hoodie and like a tracksuit set even like with this it doesn't look too bad and it's actually super warm like even though it hasn't got arms i do feel quite cozy in this so this definitely is a must buy this is one of my absolute favourite coats. I have been wearing this a lot recently. It's this gorgeous, like, kind of two-layered trench. And it is so long. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but, like, can you see that? The fabric never ends. It's a proper, like, ankle bashing coat, which I love. I think it looks so chic. This is, like, an another one of those like perfect perfect coats for spring because it's nice and light but it's also long so it will keep you protected if it's like a windy day or a rainy day i really love this and i also i'm obsessed about these like balloon sleeves with the tie up bits here i just think they look so chic we are having another little faux leather moment this blazer i wore a lot actually in autumn but i feel like i'm probably gonna wear it even more as we move into the warmer months of spring this is so gorgeous i love the this chocolatey brown I feel like it's not going to be going anywhere for a long time and I am kind of obsessed with it like I love all kind of like brownie and creamy colors together I think it looks stunning and this again is another must-have loads of different brands that sell this this is from Zara I don't know if they still have it but like I said I will link everything down below especially if I find like a really good dupe and this is just another another must-have I feel like all of these coats are must-have but like a chocolate blazer is definitely something that I think every girl needs in her wardrobe for spring. If you are looking for a coat that's going to make you like the baddest bitch in your area on your dog walk, then this is the coat for you. This honestly gives me like a very Russian spy kind of vibes. It is just stunning. It's another trench coat, but I feel like it's just kind of like a step up from a trench because of the shape of it. It's got these gorgeous balloon sleeves. It fits immaculately and this is actually from misguided petite range and i genuinely think like this is quite long on me still so i feel like this is going to fit loads of different people in terms of like the length but i just love it it is gorgeous these kind of coats again i feel like everyone needs to have one they work all seasons but i'm especially excited to wear this over the next few months this next jacket is slightly on the noisier side because I haven't worn it enough yet So I'm not gonna move my arms too much. I know that I actually like whenever I speak I'm doing it now like I always move my arms and um, but this I actually love so this is a it's kind of like croc print PU leather jacket I just think this looks quite different quite chic and I feel like it's gonna go with any kind of like beigey outfit that you want to wear even if you're wearing something darker and you want to kind of brighten up a little bit because I feel like as we move into these warmer months we do kind of want to just brighten up our fashion a little bit and especially as we can't you know get our hair done for literally months 
and that's really dark. Like, my roots are really dark. I'm like, okay, I can't brighten my hair up for the warmer months, so I'm gonna brighten my clothing up, and I feel like this jacket is the perfect one for that. This next piece actually kind of acts as like a top and a jacket all in one. I saw this, I think I saw it on the ASOS website like about a month ago, and I just thought this is what I've been looking for, because I know that Zara have bought out a few coats that look like this, or a few jackets, um, especially in the autumn, but they were kind of in like beigey colours, which I own a lot of, as we know. So when I saw this on the ASOS website, I was like, actually, this is so me. It is in this gorgeous like creamy... It's kind of like a creamy grey colour. I feel like with the lighting today, because I'm filming this at night, it looks a little bit grey on camera. But it's kind of like a nice creamy shade that will go with a lot of things. But I just love this. I haven't had a huge amount of time to wear it. I haven't had much chance yet. But when I can, I'm going to wear this a lot. Because I just feel like it's a really easy piece to wear. If you don't know what to wear that day, you can literally just like whack on like a little basic top underneath. And then just wear this as your top for the rest of the day. It's just a nice... It's kind of like a statement jacket. I feel like you don't really need to do much else with it and I am here for this. When it comes to outerwear, I feel like ASOS are absolutely smashing it at the moment. This is another TikTok find. Um, I think I saw some girl posting about it and I saw loads of the comments and everyone was buying it and I was literally panicking that it was going to sell it out. So I picked it up. I don't know if this is like my usual style, but I love the colour. Like I don't wear a huge amount of colour, I don't think, with my fashion anymore. And khaki is one of those that I'm just, I'm kind of like dabbling in. And I feel like khaki, again, is it's quite easy. It's like a new you can kind of pair it with anything but I just absolutely love the texture of this coat it's kind of in like a very it's not really PU leather because I don't think it really looks like leather it just looks very like plasticky but I'm kind of here for it because I feel like the color makes it look a lot more expensive than like you know some kind of like really shiny PU coats do and I just love the oversizedness of this as well it's gorgeous don't really know how much I'm gonna wear it but I wanted to show you guys because I feel like this is gonna be a lot of your guys kind of vibe I don't know about you guys but I find that shopping for a leather jacket or like faux leather jacket I find it really stressful because for me the fit is the most important thing especially when obviously you're not buying a really expensive leather one if you're just buying you know from like a high street brand I feel like the fit is so important and making sure that it looks expensive I saw this one on the misguided website I think it was a couple of months ago and they had a few pictures of like different girls styling up on Instagram so I feel like sometimes with the model um, they can make it look unreal and then when you actually receive it in person you're like oh, okay that is not the one but I did see a few people sewing this up and I was like okay this actually looks insane so if you are on the hunt for a faux leather jacket and like a really nice oversized fit then this is the one I had to mention this coat because this is absolutely like without a doubt my go-to I think I've worn this pretty much every single day for the last three weeks it's probably not the most springtime of coats but you know you just have those days in the middle of like March and April where it is freezing cold and you're just like oh I really need a nice coat that's not going to look too wintry too intense but it's definitely going to keep me warm and this puffer coat is absolutely the one to get like I have worn this so much over on my Instagram you guys are probably sick of it my sister's been wearing it as well it is actually like one of my favorite coats that I've had probably in the last few years it smells of perfume as well we've definitely been wearing this too much but I thought it deserved a mention you know for those cooler days so yeah absolutely love this one the next item I wanted to show you is this super cute little shacket I find that shackets are one of those things that are very hit or miss but this one this is from new look I find that I actually like pick this up quite a lot when I'm planning outfits for shoot days or just like popping out the house for a little bit because it is surprisingly warm and um, because it's kind of like that thicker teddy bear fabric I think it kind of helps to insulate uh, your body a little bit more and I find if I put on like a really chunky jumper underneath this this on top and then a pair of leggings or jeans I'm actually like sorted even in this like pretty chilly weather that we've got at the moment this is I actually think a very good spring contender for a jacket and if you are looking for you know a piece kind of like this I would definitely recommend this one from New Look this next coat I cannot wait to style up when it gets a little bit warmer I wore it a bit in the autumn going into late winter but I feel like it's a moment it's coming up I cannot wait so this is a PU coat it's not as shiny as 
as the khaki one that I showed you before. Um, but I feel like that might be because this one's a little bit older. This is from Misguided. It's so long it looks so chic and it also ties up in the middle which i think really helps to make it look a little bit more classy because like pu is one of those fabrics that you know sometimes can make you look a little bit like a stripper which i'm not judging you for i mean i if i was a stripper i would definitely walk around in this coat um but yeah what do you think of this i absolutely love it it's not everyone's cup of tea but i had to include it because it's just it's my obsession at the moment so you know what I was saying earlier about chocolate brown being like one of the colours at the moment? I feel like the other colour is sage green and I absolutely love sage green. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I feel like it's kind of like yellow. I look at it and it makes me feel happy. So I wanted to show you this coat. This is from Nasty Gal. It's kind of like wintry coat vibes because it feels like a wool coat. I don't know if it is actually a wool coat, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it is light enough that you probably could style it up for like the earlier months of spring. The fit of it is lovely. It's nice and oversized, but without swamping you, which is great. And it kind of, oh, you can't see it, but it kind of comes up to like mid, what is this bit called? Is that a calf? Mid shin, that's it, mid shin. And it's just a really, really lovely fit. This coat here I have had actually for I would say about a year and a half and when I first got it I was like it is really lovely but I don't know like it's not really what people are wearing at the time but now I feel like everyone is into this like faux fur kind of trench coat vibe. It looks very very fancy, very chic and I'm so glad that I kept hold of this because there were times when I was like do I just sell it on Depop? Do I give it to a friend? Like I don't really, I don't know, like I don't know if it it's ever going to be in fashion but i'm so glad that i waited because this coat is going to have her moment over the next few months the color is stunning the fit is unreal um it is slightly on the smaller side but i will link a few dupes to this down below because i don't know if river island will still have this one on sale i mean if they do that would be amazing but I would definitely find a dupe because I feel like there's lots of coats like this available at the moment. This here is another one of the famous Zara Gilets. This is the double sided one so it's kind of got like this greeny grey beige colour on the inside. I actually tend to wear it like this because I prefer having this on the inside. I, I just think this colour is a little bit of a strange one to wear. Um, but this is a really cute little gilet. It's nice and lightweight but it is actually still quite warm it's a very insulated coat but it doesn't really feel like you're wearing you know just like a big heavy piece of clothing so this i think is actually gonna be really really great as it gets a little bit warmer and i just think the style of it is so nice i loved i just love the way that it's cropped here just think it looks very very nice zara actually really are smashing it with the gilets at the moment i feel like they are definitely the front runner when it comes to that and this one i absolutely adore okay we are on to the final jacket of today thank you so much much for watching if you have got this far so this little blazer is from zara it's in this gorgeous camel color i feel like i'm gonna have this for years and years i do not see this color going anywhere it matches so many different shades i feel like pretty much every single outfit in my wardrobe i could pair with this blazer in some way i just think it's gorgeous and you guys should definitely if you don't have a camel blazer i feel like it is an investment to make zara have unreal ones for a pretty decent price um for unreal quality so this i think is a very good one to end on and that is all the jackets done for today. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Let me know if you do like this style of content. I don't do a huge amount of like, I feel like all I really do is haul. So if you do like seeing this kind of slightly different content, then definitely do let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching again and I will see you in the next one. Bye.